As much as a multinational oil giant Chevron tries to deny and avoid responsibility for all the devastation it has caused in the Ecuadorian Amazon, the evidence is overwhelming. More than 1,000 toxic pools like this one are believed to be responsible for many deaths and diseases. This farmer says his wife died of cancer after falling into one of these pools trying to rescue a family cow. This teacher can recite the names of many of his friends and acquaintances who may have died from cancer, but he's still alive to tell the truth. On his skin, the evidence of an illness he says is slowly killing him. Como no sabía, pensaba que el agua era que el agua era normal, se tomaba, entonces producto de eso tengo esta enfermedad que lo padezco y aparte de eso me afectaba no solamente a la piel sino a la mayor cantidad de órganos. La naturaleza mismo que se ha perdido, ¿por qué? Porque la Texaco destruyó montañas, destruyó todo. Acabó. Carmen Pérez is a health educator and she is convinced that all these deaths in the area are directly linked to the environmental disaster. Los que se han ido por lo menos se fueron, ya descansan en paz, pero la familia quedó a sufrir en, en, este, en este oriente que estamos con esa contaminación de Texaco que nos dejó. All these stories lead to a new campaign by the government of Ecuador to make Chevron take responsibility for this crisis. Mundo entero, esta la mano sucia de Chevron, a reaccionar contra tanta impunidad, contra tanto abuso, contra tanta explotación. President Correa adds that this U.S. oil company was the only one working in this area three decades ago and therefore is the only one responsible for the pollution. Con su campaña, la mano negra de Chevron en el Ecuador, el presidente Correa está invitando al mundo entero que venga a la Amazonía ecuatoriana a experimentar en carne propia lo que llaman el peor desastre ambiental en todo el mundo. Es 85 veces más grave que el derrame de British Petroleum en el Golfo de México. 18 veces más grave que el derrame de Exxon Valdez en las costas de Alaska. Dirty pits filled with this oil that is, is left in place by this, this massive multi-billion dollar corporation. Gail McLaughlin, mayor of Richmond, California, where Chevron has one of the biggest refineries in the state, during her visit to the Ecuadorian Amazon as an invitation made by President Correa, wanted to be one of the first ones to join the campaign, the dirty hand of Chevron.